What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of our Stool Ender team, and doing a Skyrim video. I've been wanting to do this type of video for a little bit, and it's based on the restoration loop or resto loop. It's a exploit within Skyrim, which allows you to make really super high, powerful weapons, indestructible armor, all kinds of things. But in this case, I'm just using it to make a set of boots with insane carrying capacity. And it's going to be, I'm going to make a dragon plate boots. And as you can see, my character is moving slowly because I've already exceeded his carrying capacity for what he had regularly and his regular added carrying capacity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to forge some dragon plate boots. And yeah, I'm going to move around again. I'm going to forge some dragon plate boots. And can't do dragon scale, but I'll do dragon plate. And once I make these boots, what I'm going to do is then enhance them at the table. But before I do that, I don't know, yeah, I'm looking at this. That's why I grabbed the ebony ingots is I was going to make some weapons and I decided against it. So now I'm going to go to the table and I'm going to enhance these boots. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is drink a blacksmith potion that I made. And it's just a higher end blacksmith potion. Oh, and I'm turning on the different jewelry, which also enhances. And then I'm going to drink the blacksmith potion. And I should be able to bump everything up on the boots. And then I'm going to do the armor as well. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to raise it up. Enhance the armor. Enhance the boots. Enhance the gauntlets. And the helmet. And now that that's enhanced, what I'm going to do is put on my regular armor and jewelry and travel back to Solitude where I have all my alchemy gear. And these boots are better off. My armor level is already sky high. And blocks about 80% of the damage, which is the maximum you can block in Skyrim. First, I'm going to go and dump off all the garbage that I don't need, and then I'm going to go to Solitude and do the Resto Loop, as well as create a really super high um, potion for enhanced enchanting. And that's important because that's how this is going to work. And I do have a grand soul gem. So that's awesome. Now let's go back. Well, I'm going to do a few other things like sleep and then head back to solitude. Now I'm back at Proud Spire Mansion in solitude. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up everything for making a restoration potion which is the Aberseen, and then I'm going to scroll down to the Seardak Spade Tail, and then I believe Salt is also a good thing to use for restoration. Um, yeah, I'm just scrolling down my ingredients, taking a look, but regular Salt, Small Antler, and Small Pearl. Are good for making restoration. 
And yeah, like I said, I'm scrolling down this. It's a little ridiculous. Like I said, salt pile, small antler, and small pearl are good for treating the resto loop. And then what I'm going to do is get the ingredients to make an enchanted potion. Okay, what I did was, when I did dual enchanting, I created necklaces, bracers, helmet, and ring that added to fortifying alchemy. And now I'm going to make the first restoration potion. I'm going to use the ingredients small antler and small pearl and, yep, fortify restoration. This is the start potion. And, yeah, I'm going to quit out of alchemy. And I'm going to go back. Oh, uh, yeah, my kid interrupted me. Don't adopt children. They're annoying. Now, I'm going to turn off the gear here. Now that I got my fortify potion, and this is the starting potion that I just made. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back and get ingredients for fortifying enchanting, which is what I'm, yeah, hi Sophie, how you doing? Now, the ingredients for fortifying enchanting are blue butterfly wings. Um, Hag Raven, I believe, Hag Raven Claw, and then if I scroll down further, I've got Snowberries and Spriggan Sap are the other two. There's four different ingredients you can use. Now, once I get back here, I'm going to do the Fortify Restoration Loop which is I'm going to drink this restoration potion, put on my apparel that enhances alchemy, and then I'm going to make another restoration potion. And I'm just going to go fortify restoration, click on the Aberseen Longfish and Seardak Spade Tail, create the potion, yep. Now I'm going to quit out of alchemy, I'm going to take the peril off, and I'm going to make another potion. And the reason you take the peril off is it won't be a, it won't be modified if you're wearing it. It's a little weird, but now that I've done this again, I'm going to make another fortify restoration potion, and I'm just going to fast forward through until I get to my goal. In order to get an insanely high number, you have to rinse and repeat this multiple times. Now that I have everything up to a really high number, like 85,000 something, I'm going to make the Fortify Restoration. This is going to be a seed potion for the next time I do things. Then I have the Fortify Enchanting Potion. Ah, crap, I got to do this real quick. I don't want to quit alchemy. I just got to deactivate these ingredients. Do this. And I'm going to make two fortify enchanting potions. And you look at it, it's 30,699% better. Now that that's done, I'm going to change out of all my um, alchemy apparel and create these dragon boots with an insanely high carrying weight. Now this potion, the Fortify Restoration, is like 3 billion percent stronger for 60 seconds. The enchantment is like 30,000 
699% stronger. Now, I'm going to take these potions and I'm going to store them somewhere else. I like to keep things compartmentalized and organized. I'm a little ADD that way. And I'm going to put the seed potion for Fortify Restoration as well as one Fortify Enchant potion in the safe. They're out of the way. They're not in, grouped in with a bunch of other stuff. When I need them, I can go get them. Now I'm going to go back down and do the enchanting. And here's what you do. You get ready at the enchanting table. Um, you take the Fortify Enchanting Potion. And then you go and you open up the boots here. And you go down to Fortify Carry Weight. And in this case, you might do Fortify Sneak if you don't have Muffle. And you use the Grand Soul Gem and boom. You can carry just an insane amount of weight, something like 83,660 gold worth of weight. And I'm just going to do the steel dagger here. I don't know if I got it yet, but yeah, I'm just going to add fire damage. Yeah, I think I lost. Who cares? I'm just going to sell that. But now you can carry almost unlimited stuff. And I'm going to. Dump those off, but you look at this, eight, wow, 836,630 points of carrying capacity. You could carry almost everything you pick up and never lose stride. And that's the only reason why I use the restoration loop, because once you get better armor and better weapons, you really don't need to make insanely strong armor or insanely deadly weapons. If you found this video interesting and entertaining, informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games and a short on Wednesday. You don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.